It's an Easter tradition. Take the kids to meet the Easter Bunny. But the results can be, in some cases, somewhat traumatizing. Yeah. Here to help us sort it out is our resident pediatrician, Dr. Scott Hadlin from Mass General for Children. Dr. Hadlin, thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you. Let's set the stage here, <laughs> but with some photographic evidence, shall we? Uh, this is one photo that a dad shared of us. Uh, this is little Grace getting her picture <laughs> no. taken with the Easter Bunny. Can't say I blame her. She's not pleased. We see this reaction a lot. It's pretty natural, right, I would imagine? Yeah, it's a fantastic photo uh, and totally <laughs> natural. Um, you know, you think about it, there are three things that are going on that are stressful for a for a child right in, in these moments and you know first of all I am I'm a pediatrician I'm also a dad I have put my kids in these situations so <laughs> oh, no. got to be clear about that but you know in a you know, child is being separated from their parents that's stressful they're being asked to sit with a strange creature that's stressful you know we do this sometimes for families that celebrate Christmas you ask them to sit in the lap of an old guy in a red suit um, <laughs> so that's stressful and then of course the, the third thing that happens is all the attention is on the child in that moment and that's just a lot on a child and so it all kind of comes together to create this perfect storm yeah it's hard enough to get a child to smile when they're just with you, right. <laughs> their trusted loved one, right? So uh, we showed you a couple more just to give you another idea. So what is your advice for parents about trying this? I mean, is it really worth it? Look, oh, you, you guys are kids. adorable. I think we skipped family. ahead. Right, well, I, I think this Aww. is actually a, a great example. You know, um, the, the perfect photo is there on the right and the photo on the left is probably representative of the other 50 that we had oh, right. to take to capture this moment, <laughs> right? My son with his, his tongue sticking out, my daughter not looking at the camera. So I think what you got to do in these moments is just really sort of set the expectations real low. Don't try for the perfect photo. Um, try to keep it casual and fun. You know, if your child is more comfortable, uh, you know, wearing their usual clothing, if they're more comfortable having their favorite stuffed animal or their blanket with them, then they're going to be more comfortable in the moment and that's going to result in a more sort of realistic and natural photo. And I think if you do that and, and try not to strive for perfection, you'll get a good photo. You know, you obviously deal with little kids, but also all the way up through adolescence, you do a lot of work with them as well. So much of life today just seems about capturing that perfect photo for social media, and you miss the experience. Is What's your message there for parents, right? Right, yeah, I mean, I think that's exactly it. Don't strive for perfection. Try to show the, the, the family, the real family moments as they happen. And, and there are things that you can do, right? If you've got younger kids, um, you know, b below the age of five, instead of putting them in a photo alone with the Easter Bunny, you know, sit with them in the photo. They'll be more comfortable because they're not being separated. If it's an older child, you know, five or older, you can prepare them mentally for the moment. Let them know what's going to happen, who they're going to be with. Let them know that there's going to be this, you know, this moment. And then for teens, you know, let them be. Um, uh, don't strive for perfection. Just get the best you can. Yeah, and if they're really resistant, I mean, the whole idea is to have an enjoyable family outing, right? And I mean, when do you just say... Not worth it, you this know. This is your family here, and this Aww. was spontaneous, right? That's right, yeah. And so, you know, that's the other point is some of the best photos are the ones that are completely unplanned. And, and here I'm speaking, you know, not as a pediatrician, but as a dad and maybe a novice photographer. It actually turns out that this photo was taken by a stranger uh, when my family and I were crossing from Boston into Cambridge on the red line. Complete stranger took this picture and gave it to us. And uh, this is actually one of my favorite pictures of our family. Oh, I would beautiful. frame that. It is beautiful. Yeah, it's, those gorgeous. are the moments yeah. that are worth capturing. Exactly. Dr. Yeah, Hadley, exactly. thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Adlin.